What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm a Halloween ends in this video here again today, John Carpenter had some recent comments over on a podcast, Charles Band's Full Moon Freak Show, and he was making some comments talking about the state of the franchise in regards to, of course, everyone believing this is going to be the end, or I would say some people still believing this is going to be the end of Michael Myers. I've stated this in previous videos. This will be the end of Michael Myers as you know him right now from the perspective of David Gordon Green. And of course, in the future, you will have the shape returning. He'll be back on the big screen. Or actually, I'll take that back. He'll return in some fashion because who knows what they could do these days. Could they actually explore a TV series of, of Haddonfield in the future with Michael Myers at the center of it? Or just something else that is acting as a sequel to the original movie, but it's a it's a sequel that's a limited TV series. You know, you never know what form you could see the shape in. I think the the forms that you could see it in are, are endless at this stage because, prove, because of how Michael Myers has proven how successful he is for for these uh companies so in terms of the franchise ending after halloween ends while talking about it he said these following comments do not believe for a minute it's going to end because it's all about that money coming in exactly that's all it matters as long as the money's coming in they will keep on making them they might take a break very extended break between halloween ends and whatever comes next but we all already know that michael myers will be back at some point of course it's going to be very um i would say for those of us like myself who are who are loving the halloween franchise and love being being fed almost every year at this stage it's going to be a i would say a hole in like maybe your yearly rituals you become accustomed to with these new iterations from david gordon green but you already know as an established fan and how things work that he will be back it just might take a little bit longer than what you've been used to for this past uh four years or so so let's even talk about how would they bring him back again i think i've made countless videos already one of my recent videos was talking about how you could do a stat how you could do a storyline with jamie leak jamie uh jamie lee curtis's other other child out there danielle harris's character of jamie lloyd coming back into the mix discovering that she has a brother somehow tying up the h2o timeline with the events of halloween one and four five but not really talking mostly about six too heavy or you could of course remake it once again which i think is going to be the route they take in the coming years i think the route that they take in the coming years will be and it might be for the best remaking this movie once again maybe setting it in modern times and not having it set in 1978 but setting it in modern times and giving us a story centered around michael myers escaping smith's grove maybe he's been born in a different year in this timeline to make him of course very much younger since it's set in modern times and you can develop these new crop of characters who can branch out into a storyline that i would say maybe should go maybe for th let's say a trilogy because i love a good trilogy you get another two movies out of it and you might have something that's potentially going to be arguably one of the most consistent things out there since the latest timeline from david gordon green because of the fact that you wiped the slate clean you have remade the movie you don't have laurie strode in there the only thing that's still remaining the same is the myers house michael myers may be killing his sister and you know we're in haddonfield but Everything else like Laurie Strode, that's gone. Dr. Loomis is gone. You could introduce somebody who's like, of course, filling in those roles of what you would have for a Laurie Strode or Dr. Loomis, but they're gone. You're like doing a complete remake of what we've already had established in the 1978 movie, but doing it in a modern sense and still having Michael Myers be at the core of it. So what I want them to do is explore that versus you know going back and exploring a sequel to another timeline even though i'm not against that and i could see them doing it i think that the strongest thing they're going to have a chance of doing after halloween ends is if they start from scratch again doing a halloween movie that introduces people back to michael myers it introduces a new group of characters you're not reintroducing laurie strode you're not reintroducing jamie lloyd you're not doing anything like that you're doing a movie that is going to be something that a new generation can just jump right on into at least have an understanding of who michael myers is and that's it everybody else will be people you're just meeting you'll develop 
relationships with them hopefully depending on how they're written you'll have two or two or three more sequels with them and then the series will just end once again there take another hiatus at this stage that's just how this works i think that michael myers is going to be here for the long haul i'm not saying i really want that as much as i would love for this series to just go out on a high note there's going to be certain po points in this franchise where i think just like how it already is where you're going to continually have people saying the high points were this, the low points were this. And again, it's just because of how this still comes down to how everything is just a business. Michael Myers is making a lot of money. They're going to, of course, try to keep churning out ideas to make money off of it until they can't anymore. And I think at that point, that's when you, of course, would see Michael Myers disappear. But as far as after Halloween ends, there's probably going to be a very extended break. And then they're going to wipe the slate clean completely. They're going to do a Rob Zombie approach. They're not going to have the the same things going on though you're not going to have dr loomis you're not going to have laurie strode you're just going to have michael myers the myers house they might set it in modern times and you're going to have a new crop of characters for him to get obsessed with a new crop of characters for you audience members to get obsessed with and grow attached to and then you can flesh out some decent sequels to it if it comes to that i think that would be the safest approach to take versus you know doing a direct sequel to this timeline that timeline oh actually let you know let's just make a new timeline this could be a sequel to halloween 4 even though again many of us myself included would love to see that i think they're going to play it safe next time i don't think they're going to do this again i don't think they're going to do a h2o approach i don't think they're going to do a halloween h h 2018 approach i think that ship is going to be done for at least now and what you'll have is a movie that is centered around michael myers it's clearly a remake of the original but it's going to be introducing all new characters for you to grow attached to you're going to have a new platform you're going to have all of the ingredients of what you would expect from the 1978 movie but amplified or altered slightly for modern times to draw in today's audience even though again you have people who grew up with the original film who are obviously going to come out and say that they're against this movie it's not really about that they're again trying to find new ways to make money off of this character and i see that being what they do i don't see them exploring a new a old timeline again they've done it twice now so i don't see it happening but you guys can let me know what you think about john carpenter's comments down in the comment section below and where do you think the franchise should go next because he's actually done this twice a couple of times where he's made it clear that it's not ending <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video.